introducing their own scientists. I just want to do a tiny bit of housekeeping. Um, Eric Norlander has been an incredible friend and supporter of Bobo Foundation, all almost since its inception, which was in 2006. He has performed for us on um, more than one occasion. He has offered uh, technical advice and work. He has offered me um, boundless, wise counsel, which I have needed. And that generosity has um, yet again been bestowed on us here at Nearfest, where he has brought the. Uh, no, sorry, box office. Oh! <laughs> Did not say that. Sorry. You're in Crockstock. Say it with me. You're in Crockstock. It's funny. He has donated a last remaining rocket scientist box set to the silent auction that benefits both Crockstock and the Bobo Foundation. So be sure to check that out. He's also donated some signed posters from their European tour. And if you don't know, the silent auction is happening in the cafe, so please check it out because it supports two great causes. So I'd like to start out by just telling you a little story. That is that, uh, begin by saying that my father was a bit of a workaholic. So as a child, if I wanted to go and give him a kiss goodnight, I had to kind of pad across the driveway in my pajamas and go see him in his workshop. <clears throat> he was a kind of serious guy, and especially when he was working. So I would always have to work out the courage to open the door slowly, engage just the right moment to actually go in and see him. But when I was doing that, I would kind of stand on the threshold of the door to his workshop and listen to all these sounds emanating out. And to a little kid, it just sounded kind of weird <laughs> and otherworldly. And I didn't really understand them. They, they bewildered me. Well, fast forward to 2007, two years after my father had passed away, I attended my first Moe Fest. So this was a totally new world to me because my father had basically kept his career at arm's length from us. But at that Moe Fest, I was lucky to meet Eric Norlander, who at the end of the night turned around and handed me several of his solo CDs. What I didn't realize at the time is really what a life-changing moment that would be for me. I went home and I listened to them all. I immersed myself in his music and I was completely captivated by both the extraordinary musical and technical ways that he used the synthesizer and in the nuanced way that he wove these complex sonic tapestries to tell a musical story. He used the synthesizer with such power that it became almost like a vocal storytelling voice. The experience was so powerful for me that it transported me back to the threshold of my father's workshop. Except now, through Eric's music, I began to understand the importance of all those weird sounds that bewildered me as a child. Suddenly, it all made sense in the most musically beautiful way possible. Eric's music connected me to, a, uh, to my father in a way um, that had never happened before. I very quickly discovered that the rocket scientists, uh, I'm sorry, I very quickly discovered the rocket scientists and was thrilled to find that Eric's musical and technical virtuosity had found a home and band that he originally created in the late 80s with his college roommate, the fantastically talented singer and songwriter, Barbara Wright. Chef. 
Tonight, they are joined here by the truly exceptional percussionist, Greg Ellis. The rocket scientists have been around for over 30 years. Their legacy is spread over six CDs of music and countless performances in the United States and abroad. Their last performance was 10 years ago, and Eric has shared with me that this this performance at Prague Stock will be their very last performance as a band. Oh. Yes, I felt the same way, yes. It's sad, but um, I am so honored to be here with them tonight to send them on their final musical voyage together. And I will be honest and tell you that I found it completely daunting um, trying to explain what makes their music so incredible. And then I realized, Um, but I can tell you that Eric shared their set list with me last night, and as a rocket scientist fan, I was just blown away, and I am so excited for this musical treat that we are about to hear. Um, as I sign off, I, I would like to bring Bob Bogue into the room, if that's okay. Yes. 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 By telling you that my father was not one to offer praise easily. Uh, and his highest praise, when something was truly well done, highly crafted and exquisite, was that it was damn good. So it is my honor here tonight to introduce to you the damn good, so damn good, rocket science. 